They're going to be doing some great stuff. Hey, speaking of great stuff, Dave Malkoff always turns in some great stories, and he's got another one, doesn't he, Steph? Yeah, he does. He is in a lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where scientists are studying how the Earth's rotation truly drives the weather. My name is Vince Agard. I'm a second year grad student here at MIT. With a spinning tank and a bucket full of ice, Vince studies how our planet's rotation from day into night affects the weather. And as the ice melts, it's going to cool down the water. The icy center mimics the frozen North Pole. So this is the ice bucket right here. Right. And this is the water tank. Right. Powerful winter storms like Nemo and Boston are all part of the way weather swirls around the Earth. To understand how it's all connected, we placed a camera outside the spinning tank and one on top. So if I just stick my hand in here. You get that funky spinning hand effect because the camera is spinning at the same rate as the tank. It's just like you standing on the spinning earth. You don't feel the earth spin, but it certainly does. To someone in the tank, I'm rotating even though I'm actually just standing here. To create storms, all we need to do is dye some of the cold water blue, dye some of the warm water red. Suddenly, we start to see swirling patterns. Something very similar to what happens in the Earth's atmosphere. So what's happening in here is the same thing that's happening on Earth. We're seeing the same swirling action. Right. There's one coming over the United States here. Back in the tank, you can see the blue mixing right next to the red. We see the same thing happen on Earth and call it a front. You know, one day it's really nice and warm, and then a cold front comes through, and the next thing you know, it, it's freezing. These kinds of experiments help scientists understand how cold polar air affects the entire world. The whole Earth is getting warmer, but the polar regions are getting warmer faster than the equatorial regions. This climate change is going to affect the way that these storms affect us. On Earth, if you're living in a city near the edge of two swirls, you may have a powerful storm come through. In the tank, fortunately, it's just food coloring. If you were living here, you might be experiencing, you know, a lot of a lot of dye falling on you, right? <laughs> and you'd, you'd end up looking like your finger. Right, yeah. At MIT, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Mm, that was really interesting. Love that. Coming up next, two inches.